What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today when it comes to watchOS 10, we now have a point update and for now it's in beta. So if we go into our settings and go to where it says general and go to software update, you can see we have watchOS 10.1 and this is developer beta 2. In a few hours or by the next day the public beta 2 should be out but you can see for me here on my apple watch ultra series 1 the update comes in at exactly 521 megabytes it's quite large and the reason for this is because i'm actually updating to it right now from watch os 10 so it's my first beta even though it's the second beta and in terms of storage how much this update is actually downloading the file size you can can see it's taking up 821.3 megabytes. Also in terms of other updates that were released you can see here Apple released iOS 17.1 beta 2 iPadOS 17.1 beta 2 macOS 14.1 beta 2 watchOS 10.1 beta 2 and of course tvOS 17.1 beta 2. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if you want to get to know your updates beta and get to see what's new within these updates, definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now I'm just updating my Apple Watch. So let me just finish that and then we'll be able to see what's new within the update. Okay, so now my Apple Watch is up to date. So if we go into our settings, and go to where it says general and go to the about section you can see the version is watchOS 10.1 and the build number that I have currently on file is 21 s 5053 f now this build number has an f at the end and in terms of stability there really hasn't been a change from the first beta to this second beta so we still have a few betas to go before we can see or get to a beta that's more of a water of a stable build. Now, when it comes to some of the changes that this update has to offer, if you have the old Apple Watch Ultra like I do here or the Apple Watch Series 6 and newer, you can go into your settings and then when you go down a little bit, you notice that there's this section that has been updated slightly and it's with this gesture sub menu and when you click gesture, you can see you have this gesture that you can turn on to basically cover to mute and it says when this is on you are and you are receiving alert you can mute your apple watch by resting your palm on the display to cover it for at least three seconds you feel a tab to confirm the mute is enabled so basically this works for voice calls or even group facetime calls audio calls so you can basically cover it like this and then it will mute your apple watch but if you have the apple watch series 9 or the apple watch ultra 2 this goes a little bit further because with this update it actually enables the new gesture that is here which is called double tap for the apple watch ultra 2 and apple watch series 9 so you'll be able to see that feature or function in this same sub menu but if you have an apple watch ultra 1 or the older versions of the apple watch series you only see this section under this gesture sub menu that has been added but of course if you want to have like a pretty similar experience not exactly as fast or as smooth as the double tap gesture you can go into your accessibility and then you can basically go and uh, do this one that says assistive touch and if you turn this on for example you can see my hand if I double clench like this you can see I can be able to move into or basically navigate my watch by just doing that and then if I um, double clench again I can be able to access my menu settings if I want to press the digital crown I select it like that if I want to move you know on my watch faces like this or if I want to go to the sub menu section I can go here and all the applications will show and if I want to toggle or move between my applications I can basically be doing that but you can also be able to, you know, start your stopwatches or start 
a timer or basically answer a phone call using the same gestures you just have to go into your settings go to your accessibility and turn on assistive touch if you don't have the new apple watch ultra 2 or the series 9 it's somewhat a similar experience but it's not as smooth as what it is now with the new apple watch series 9 and ultra by means of the double tap feature I don't know why they didn't bring it to the ultra 2 because it can be supported but this is what i have here on the apple watch series one or the apple watch ultra first gen now also another change that's here with this update is that name drop is finally supported and for you to be able to use name drop you have to be on watch os 10.1 so it wasn't introduced with watchOS 10, the official version. It's now here with watchOS 10.1, the second beta going forward. So this works with another Apple Watch or even if you have like an iPhone, for example, if I bring this iPhone 15 close by and just do this. You notice the animation comes. Let me try that again. okay okay so that's how it's working for me maybe the reason why i it's not showing a name card is because i haven't set up my name drop on this new iphone but something that i should try is basically to see if it works with the same account or if you have the same iphone account let's see if it works because this is my iphone that's paired and for you to be able to use name drop you need an iphone that's on ios 17 and an apple watch series 6 and later that is on watch os 10.1 and later so this is now here and a few users have actually been complaining about this name drop feature because sometimes it just works once and then once you do it again it doesn't transfer any information on the second or third attempt so that seems to be an issue at this time and for me it just shows like this and just sticks like that so i'll be testing it out more fully to see if i'm missing something but other than that those are all the changes that are here with watch os 10.1 the first one being name drop and the second one being this new gesture sub menu section by where you find by going into the settings and if you go to gestures you should be able to see more options if you have the newly announced apple watch series now some of the other unfortunate things that are still existing like changing our watch faces this is something that are requested in the feedback assistant app to see if we can get it back or get a faster way to be able to switch our watch faces it still isn't working you still have to press and hold and then swipe and find the watch face you want and then put it there I don't like this I prefer the old method where you just swipe it's just faster and more seamless but other than that it's still okay I need to give it some time to be able to test it out maybe on the weekend or so i might do a follow-up video but this is how watch os 10.1 beta 2 has been on my apple watch ultra the first gen if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace Drunk and I'm flexing, I'm lady, cause life is a blessing I'm currently counting my blessing, ascending for heavens I'm headed away from the universe, I'm coming back, not as human things Came to the touch, I'm a sinner, but not a beginner Though every day is a beginning, I'm critically breathing I'm dusty, I'm kicking my inches, you nasty, I spit on your Misery home, you, misery home, you I never liked you, and you never liked me, stay warm But nothing contagious, it's my anger Riding around in the city